Good day guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to deep clean the interior carpets and headliners in your car. Now we're going to do, be doing it on my wife's car today. Um, the Jeep is fairly clean but my wife's car is normally used for running the kids to daycare and it's our weekend car as well just because the Jeep is very poor on fuel. So the wife's car gets used a lot more so it gets a lot more uh, stains and stuff and because it doesn't have uh, rubber floor mats like the Jeep does, it doesn't, all these kind of carpety floor mats like everybody else has got, gets a hiding. You can see this by this big stain. Could be like an ice latte or yogurt or something. Could be an ice latte, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, it gets destroyed by um, the kids, yogurts, food, waters, coffee, you know. Uh, we try and keep it in good condition so it's not going to be too bad, uh, but we will be surprised by the amount of chocolate goodness that comes out in the spot cleaner um, so if you've got kids um, this might be a really good video for you if you're wanting to sell your car or just maintain it um, this might be a really good video for you on how to um, deep clean the inside of your car um, it's very simple very straightforward um, it's not very expensive at all and can easily be done at home in about a 45 minute period obviously that can change depending on the condition of your car and how bad it is um, yeah some are very bad and some aren't too bad at all but i've got it laid out here of what we need it's only a few products and a lot of this stuff can be bought second hand on marketplace or can you buy brand new or ebay and amazon as well so obviously the first thing we've got is a bizzle spot cleaner um we've got this brand new for about 175 dollars it's an amazing little machine it comes with a few different attachments um and $175 brand new or you can buy them second hand for about $75. We actually lend this out to many people um, to do the couches, um, carpets in their houses and we've done the couches and carpets in our house as well. It's an amazing little machine. The clean water goes on this side then it gets sucked through um, when you clean it and it comes out this side in a nice milky little substance that looks like chocolate milk which is fairly disgusting. Um, and today we'll be using a product I have not used before but I've heard good things about it so if this video does not end well i do not recommend this product if it ends well i do recommend this product it is the chemical guys lightning fast stain extractor powerful yet um, gentle cleaning agent it removes stubborn stains with ease won't discolor fade interior um, fabrics this was on sale at super cheap auto for 22 dollars um, this is a 473 liter um, bottle we only got this because the other stuff we normally use um, was not in stock anymore so we thought we'd try something house so hopefully this one works out super cheap auto or you can buy online if you're not in Australia or New Zealand the other thing I'd highly recommend is a good brush now it doesn't have to be the best brush but you can buy these from the supermarket for less than a dollar so I highly recommend these to get into that carpet to remove all the sand and dirt um, before we actually get to spot cleaning the carpet really handy to use and very cheap now the other thing I'd highly recommend um, is an assorted, you can tell we've had these for ages, assorted sort of um, packet of different brushes. I got this from Super Cheat Auto for $12, or you can buy them from eBay and Amazon for about $10, $12. This comes with four brushes of different sizes, um, awesome for carpet cleaning, um, even wheels and tires on your car, which you use that one for. Amazing little kit that helps really get in there and move stuff and stains and all the loose stuff like gum yoga and stuff that kids love to kind of really mush into the carpet inside your car and then obviously a drill this is just a cheap one from bunnings i think this is like 20 or 30 bucks again you can buy these second hand with batteries for very cheap this is only used for um because we've got a drill attachment for this goes like that very handy little tool really gets into all those little nooks and crannies of the carpet as you guys will see in just a minute now that's pretty much all you need to do to deep clean the inside of your car um, now this is the same for headliners seats car seats seat covers floor mats and that sort of thing obviously we want to try and protect the carpet as much as possible um, but sometimes stains and spills happen so this is a very good way and easy way to deep clean the inside of your car this is only take about half another 45 minutes um, if you're doing it at home. This video won't go for that long hopefully, um, but we'll get onto it and we'll show you the process of 
removing all the sand and dirt from the carpet first. Um, then we can go on and vac it, spray our product on, uh, use a draw attachment to remove any stains, and then we can suck out um, all the nasty stuff with the spot cleaner. So let's get onto it and see how much crap we can get out of these carpets. Let's go. Get your brush and your carpet, whether it be just the mat or the interior of your car, and you want to go along in a nice sweep motion. And then once we've got gone to this side, I like to push it back the opposite way. Each way opens up. You can see the shade difference. It's much lighter going that way than it is that way. You're pushing it flat. Um, you're pushing it flat that way and opening it up that way. So it's going to get different um, embedded parts of sand and dirt in, um, inside the carpet, depending on which way you push it. So I like to go both ways. Push it all the way out. Right, now that we've got it nice and clean from all the debris after we've vacuumed up and scrubbed it, try to get as much sand and just general dirt that you pick up from the ground, leaves and all that kind of crap out of the carpet. Um, you can go along with your cleaner. Um, this is the chemical guys one. And we'll get it as wet as possible. Um, make sure you add a little bit more to the stained areas. Get it in there, don't be shy to use too much, you can always dry out. And then in this one, uh, this is the old one we used to use, is Fabrica Debra that they had out of stock. Uh, this has just got water in it, um, just to dilute it a little bit um, and to get a little bit more moisture into the carpet itself to bring out all those stones. Or you can use like an APC, like an all-purpose cleaner, um, or cheap stuff works just the same. Then we'll get our drill attachment. I like the bigger one, especially for bigger areas like carpet, floor mats, that sort of thing. And then we're just working up the carpet, down in rows, then we'll go across as well. And um, it's probably not wet enough, so we'll just add a bit more product in there. their change in the color of the actual floor mat itself and we're always going to pay particular attention so when it's actually in the car that side's kind of up where your feet don't really sit and on the corners and this back side as well normally your seat, feet will sit in the middle so that's probably going to take in the most dirt um, and the most stains there was that stain around this side as well that kind of crept down there which is probably coffee so Right, now that we're happy with that, we've got pretty much all that stain up by using our cleaner and the drawer attachment. It really brings up the embedded stains. It's time to extract it. So uh, with our splot cleaner, the bizzle, we filled up. Um, they've got little measurements on the inside here. I filled it up kind of halfway with lukewarm water. I feel like the warmer water we use, the more it brings out those stains and um, kills all that bacteria. Um, and then as we suck it through, water will. there's a little jet in here uh, that will spray water out. And then we can also use those brushes there to kind of rub it in um, and then we'll suck it out. Then it transfers all the dirty water that we suck up into here. So keep an eye on this section here and you'll see that it becomes just a black mess.
All right, so that's it for today, guys. The floor mats have come up absolutely mint, an absolute treat, um, much better than they were before. On this one, we had that big stain just here, looks like iced coffee and vanilla ice latte, and it looks absolutely mint. Smells in mint, no more dodgy smells from kids dropping yogurt and milk and my wife spilling coffees on it. It looks absolutely mint. Now we can go ahead and maybe do some lines of sink in it if we want to to finish it off. Um, but for us, it's not too big a deal because I know it's probably going to get a few more stains on it as soon as I put them back in. But both of them come out really well. Um, this one we've just done, so that needs to dry. I pulled out a lot of uh, fine dust. Uh, from this one when we did the drilling part of it um, with our little attachment um, but it's come up absolutely mint and you can tell that how much dirt was inside it by the state of the water the state of that water look how dark and nasty you can see there's some nasty shit nasty stuff sitting inside that the water goes in clear on this side it gets foamed up well not foamed up it gets squirted out from here on the carpet and then get sucked out you can see how absolutely nasty it is so you imagine what that's going to be like if you haven't done it in a very long time so we're going to get ahead empty that out wash it out ready for the next thing probably a few floaties and stuff lying there as well it's disgusting how much dirt and stuff you pull out of your couches your carpets your floor mats and stuff like that sometimes the kids drop food and we just pick it up and give it back to them and that's um the stuff that's getting caught up in the food we're giving back to them. So it's a bit yuck. But anyway, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.